Hi, welcome back to Nurturing Moms. My name is Shiro Shera. Now, in a previous video, I mentioned the word vacuum or vacuum delivery. And I thought, you know what? I might as well give you the information now. So here you have it. What is a vacuum delivery? Now, a vacuum delivery is there sometimes during labor or prolonged labor, your baby will have to be assisted out of the birth canal using a vacuum. Before it used to be a vacuum or forceps, but these days what is commonly used in, uh, during bath is a vacuum delivery because it has less um, um, side effects or risks. Now for a vacuum delivery, it just imagine a plastic cup that's applied at the back of your baby's head as they're coming out and it, it creates a suction. And as mom is pushing and using all her energy to push the baby out, then the doctor assists and pulls along with her push as well. Now what would warrant the use of a vacuum? One of the things is prolonged labor. That you've gotten now to second stage where now the baby is actually coming out and crowning. And this has been going on for the last 45 minutes. You're pushing but baby is really not coming out. Remember, I talked about what are the factors that, you know, affect the progress of your labor. It could be the size of the baby's head. So maybe the baby's head is, is, is large and mom is having a difficult time trying to push the baby out. So if the doctor notices, okay, it's been 45 minutes since we started pushing, and now the baby's heart rate looks like it's starting to, to dip, the best thing to do and the safest thing to do and to help the mother birth this baby is to use that plastic cup I told you that's applied on the baby's head and it creates a suction and it sticks there and as the mom is pushing the doctor is pulling the, the vacuum it, it should not pop if the suction is really good now another thing is if you've had an epidural if you've had an epidural sometimes you don't give that push uh, <coughs> a good push so if you're having an epidural then remember you're blocked from the waist down. So sometimes it affects, you don't get the feeling of the urge compared to the mom who has had no block in her system where she really gets it strong. So if you've had an epidural, the chances of you having a vacuum uh, instrumental delivery are higher because the pushing stage sometimes takes a little longer. I don't want you to be fearful. The doctor only uses that vacuum extractor if they see that, okay, things are not looking too good, we've been here for too long, the baby's heart rate is coming down, so the best thing to do to save the baby, save the mom, is extract the baby. As mom is pushing, the doctor is also pulling the baby. Okay, now what happens on the baby's, the back of the baby's head, because that's where the suction cup is applied, they are born with a bit of a, would I call it a hematoma, like a swelling, a swelling, there but usually after 24 hours you will not notice it it just goes back down to, to normal but be aware if your baby is, has a vacuum assisted delivery they'll have a slight swelling where the cup was applied because sometimes you kind of use a bit of force as you're helping to pull the baby out another risk factor could be tearing for, for the doctor for your doctor to be able to apply that cup on the baby's head get, guess what happens they'll need to do a episiotomy, a slight cut. It doesn't have to be a big one, just a slight one to make space to apply that cup on the baby's head. Okay, remember the baby is not out. If they were out, you'd not need to use the vacuum, would you? No, but because the baby's head is still slightly inside the vagina, you make a bit of an incision. The doctor places the cup on the back of the baby's head because that's the side that presents. And then when mom is ready to push again, she's assisted. As she's pushing, the doctor is pulling. So you will have a slight cut. And after that, it's okay. You'll get stitched up and you should heal well enough. I just want you to remember, it's not the doctor's plan that, okay, Jane is giving birth today. I think we're going to use a vacuum. No, it happens. They make the decision as the stuff is going on in the delivery room and they make the right decision for you and for your baby. So I hope that makes it clear what a vacuum a delivery is or instrumental delivery using a vacuum. And these are some of the things we talk about in my childbirth class. That is, we always cover the vacuum delivery when we talk about the use of an epidural. My name is Shiro, and listen, if you are interested in attending a childbirth class, we have classes every month. They run for four consecutive weeks, 
on Saturdays and they're usually so much fun. They're group classes and you end up bonding with the other couples and the other moms and dads who are also expecting and going through the same, same journey with you. If you are interested, please call us. Our contact details are below. Send an email, send a text message, and we'll be happy to get back to you. And you shall be put in the right class according to your uh, the, when you're ready to do the classes. And when are you ready? Between 28 and 30 weeks is the best time to start these classes. My name is Shiro Shera. I hope you've gotten some good information. And if you have and you need to share this, freely share with all your friends. Thank you so much for watching Naturing Moms.